is the Coin Metro platform going to offer a sort of cold storage multi currency wallet so that they could put coins on the exchange that are safe and then pull them from a controlled core cold wallet that you own into the market exchange and then back off again okay so uh, i would say yes and no to that answer so the first question so our the the five main tokens which uh, which we currently offer now even well except for ripple which we haven't included in the token sale as of yet uh, as, uh well i know the, the the whole ripple idea is uh, I, just, I i don't know why i brought this in the conversation now i have to explain it so we haven't brought in Ripple uh, uh, because, uh, well, Ripple's kind of like the anti-crypto right now. Though we do have people asking us about Ripple. So we're kind of taking an internal vote right now, and we'll probably put it on Telegram to see if anybody wants us to add Ripple. Ripple is included in the Bitcoin wallets. Uh, we more than likely will include it on the exchange because obviously there is some demand, not because we like it. Look, an exchange doesn't list things because they like them. They list them because there's volume and, and there's market cap and things are better. So, uh, so the five or six tokens or coins that, that BitGo, BitGo allows will be put there from day one. BitGo has, and, and we utilize, a cold, warm, hot, receive, send wallet uh, infrastructure. Basically, that means that we have wallets. When you send every, like in the token sale, for example, when you send funds, you're sending it to a specific wallet that was given to you. We are reusing Ether wallets, but we have a specific internal tag. It's just a different piece of technology. However, normally you're gonna get uh, a brand new wallet every time you do a, a payment. That wallet basically gets tagged to you. That wallet is a receive wallet. Money can go into that wallet. It can only leave that wallet to one other wallet, which is our warm wallet. It can't go anywhere else. So even if someone were to hack us and get our private key, the only thing they would be able to do is move that those funds from the uh, receive wallet to the warm wallet. That's it. Uh, then the warm wallet can, can only hold a certain amount of funds that we can use to send to our send wallet, which is a wallet that can only send to one specific address. Uh, and then from the warm wallet, we keep the majority, 95, 96. Right now we keep 100% in cold storage. Every time a transfer comes in, we batch it out and it goes into cold air gapped storage. And uh, obviously on the exchange, you can't do that. Why? Because well, you wouldn't have any liquidity to pay, uh, to pay out. So the warm wallet then holds a certain percentage and that percentage will fluctuate based on usage, but it's still a multi-signature wallet and it can only send to a send wallet. And the send wallet rules, the rule set will change as we send out. So before we send uh, Bitcoin to you, for example, we would include your wallet into the send wallet rule set. We would send out, then we would erase your wallet. So it's a pretty complex and a pretty secure system. Now, that means that your basically your funds are always in cold storage, even though it's our cold storage. Now, there is an option with the Bitcoin APIs to give cold, well, not, not cold, but like a warm or a received wallet to clients. And I believe we are going to do that. It's not 100% quote unquote cold, but you can set rule sets to make sure that if anybody were to get into your account, the only place they'd be able to send that Bitcoin is to your external Bitcoin account. So they pretty much can't do a thing. Uh, other, you know, especially if you institute 2FA and voice biometrics to trade authorization, then they can't even trade. So even if they got into your account, brute force through 2FA, voice biometrics, uh, you know, and the other security protocols we'll have in place, they, they still wouldn't be able to do a thing. Um, so uh, now we do have to create our own wallet system for every other coin that BitGo does not allow. So we are currently looking into the, the fact of how exactly we're going to uh, do that. I think uh, right now, right now, I'm not going to say it's in the planning phase because it's not. We've already actually drafted out documentation. We already began coding the base. Right now, the, the, our main team is actually focusing on the exchange. And the, the, the team that's actually doing the token sale, along with an external team, uh, well, internal to us, but an external team from that team, uh, will be focusing on converting that, actually this week, converting the code on a secondary server to the main wallet code. So right now, all that's kind of happening. Uh, we're, we're, what we're looking to do is take, is create our own, our own wallet uh, infrastructure and, and uh, lace that up or, or, or combine that with BitGhost. So we'll use the same cold wallet and warm wallet technology. We'll just create our own receive wallets and our own send wallets. So this way you would basically create your own wallet in our system. Now, 
a wallet like for your cell phone and a wallet for like an actual wallet for XCM. That's not something we actually put in the roadmap, but it, it, now we're starting to think that it might be a good idea. So we may actually add that in as well. What I can tell you is, is that uh, we also are looking in to get a secu- uh, insurance policy on our cold wallets. So uh, I can't guarantee that at this point. I can't guarantee we'll get the insurance. Obviously, we have to get underwritten. Uh, but if that does come to fruition, you're basically have it holding your Bitcoin or Litecoin or XCM or whatever inside our system would mean that 90 some on percent, 95, 96, 97 percent of your funds would always be in cold gap storage. The other percent would be in a warm wallet that can only send to one, one specific wallet that can only send to a specific rule set of wallets. Uh, so it's, it's about as secure as it can get without you uh, putting that information, carving that information into a rock and throwing it in the middle of the ocean uh, and tagging it with a GPS signal only you can find. I mean, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty much uh, the, the, the thing. But this will evolve. So we're going to see how we evolve that to see if we can actually provide some type of third-party wallet service. That might be a good service to add on to our service offering. So I'm going to add that onto my to-do list, and that may be something that we look, uh, look to do in the future.